In one of my D&D games, we had this player who had really bad luck. He would open a door with a knock spell, and it would set off a fire trap, or he'd try to light a darkened room with a light spell, and it would just blind everyone, or he'd cast Spider Climb, and he'd end up stuck to the wall. This guy had really bad luck. Like, really bad luck. As in, he would get into trouble almost 100% of the time. What I found out later was that this was the GM's doing. The guy running the game hated magic users. His position was, Hey, I set up this set of elaborate traps, and then the wizard casts fine traps? Well, now he knows where they are! <laughs> so, I've set up this plan. Anytime they try to use magic like that, I'll punish them. After doing this for a few months, people will get the hint and stop playing spellcasters. And I responded, Why don't you just talk to the players about it? <sighs> ben, 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 he said, shaking his head. I know you're new to RPGs, but let me teach you something. GMs aren't supposed to be interfering like that. It's rude to mess with the player's autonomy. Funnily enough, his plan backfired, and it just causes magic users to try harder and blow multiple spells on one thing. I don't blame the players for being confused, though, because he had some odd exceptions to the rules. He was fine with healing spells, he just had a problem with spells that quote-unquote solved problems. So pretty much everything else. Besides, he didn't have any issues with his villains using magic. Like, there was one humorous moment where the enemy gave himself an extra action and summoned a dozen flaming swords that hit me without a save for over 100 points of damage and instantly killed my character. Was I upset about this? No. I wasn't. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. The thing I'm getting at here is, don't use in-game mechanics to punish the players for out-of-game decisions. This advice goes for players as well. We had a thief character who kept stealing from the party. So, one day, he gets caught and killed. Out of character, we were sick of his thief, but didn't say anything to him. Do you know what happens? The guy just rolls up an even more min-max thief, saying, This time, I'm just not gonna get caught. <sighs> and I'm kind of kicking ourselves, like, what did we think was gonna happen? He was gonna roll up, like, a paladin and be lawful good, because now he has seen the error of his ways. No, he's just, you know, people take it as a challenge. Some of you might say, well, what if I ask them and they don't follow the rules? First off, hear them out, because they might have legitimate reasons for what they want to do. Otherwise, if you say something like, there aren't any angels in this world, and someone brings an angel to the table, I'm afraid you might not be able to play with them if they're just going to bypass the rules like that. Whatever you do to solve that problem is up to you. That's not what this video is about. But for the love of God, don't do this weird shit where you don't talk to them and instead say, Oh yeah, yeah, sure, you can play as an angel. But since you're playing as an angel, you have a celestial curse upon you, which means that you're going to be pursued by a pack of fully grown dire wolf sharks, and all of your roles are a natural one. Until you change characters, that is.